Hello, welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making this beautiful pineapple orange glazed ham that's the perfect way to feed a crowd without much effort. And we all think of ham for those winter holidays, but it's also perfect for a summer picnic or holiday brunch like Mother's Day or Father's Day. You can toss this baby in the oven early in the morning and have it all carved and ready when the guests arrive. Now to start out, preheat the oven to 325 degrees, and I've got a 10 pound bone-in ham here that I'm cooking on a roasting rack. And while the ham did fit in this 9 by 13 inch pan, I still thought it might be a little small. So I placed the rack into a larger disposable pan for easier cleanup, and stabilized it with a large roasting pan. Now unwrap the ham and place it cut side down on the rack, then use a knife to score the skin and fat layer in a crosshatch pattern, and this will help the fat to render and help the skin get nice and crispy. And as the ham cooks, these score marks will open up and give us a more textured surface to keep that glaze from sliding off. And once you have it where you want it, pour one cup of water over the ham, followed by a half cup of orange juice. Next, toss eight whole cloves into the liquid, and this will flavor the ham as we baste it without overpowering anything. Now brush a little of this clove flavored liquid over the entire ham and bake it for 30 minutes before we baste it again. In the meantime, to make the glaze, I've got one cup of crushed pineapple with its juices, one half cup of brown sugar, one quarter cup of orange juice, two tablespoons each of both A1 steak sauce and mustard, and I used a Dijon mustard today, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne to offset all that sweet stuff. Now just stir it all together and set this aside. And after the ham cooks for the first 30 minutes, we'll need to baste it again, but we don't want to add the glaze too early or it will burn. So just baste it with the flavored pan liquid every 20 to 30 minutes for the first hour and a half. Then for the final hour, spoon over the pineapple glaze and reapply it every 20 minutes for the last hour. And if at any point it starts to get too dark, cover the ham with a tin foil tent to shield it from burning as it finishes. Then I typically let it rest for 20 minutes. And to carve this, since the bone runs straight through from top to bottom, I try to look at the ham and leave the prettiest side undisturbed and on the bone. Then I cut the other side straight down from top to bottom and remove a large boneless chunk. Now place the pretty piece with the bone onto your serving dish and slice the other piece into sections that you can fan around your centerpiece. Then spoon over some pan juices so it doesn't dry out. And at this point it's ready to eat or you could cover it up with a little foil to keep it warm. And when you taste the incredible balance of flavors in this glaze, and remember how easy it was to throw this together, you're gonna to be wondering why you've been saving ham for the winter holidays when it's such a nice addition to a brunch or barbecue. And if you need a printed copy of this recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.